Michaela Vernava here with Ryan Newman, driver of the number six Ford for Roush Fenway Racing. Ryan, heading into this weekend, you're right outside that playoff bubble. So what's in the forefront of your mind as you head into Sunday's race? Just do the best job we possibly can. You can't focus on what you haven't done. You have to focus on what you can do, and that's all in front of us. And you've had success here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, but it does present its specific and unique set of challenges. What's the key to being successful here on this track? Mostly just track position and having a good race car. Such a challenge to pass here, so you only get so many opportunities to pass people on the racetrack, but most importantly on pit lane and you know not losing a bunch of spots on pit lane is really important as well. So piecing everything together, just it's a condensed race. It's only 300 laps, you, you know, a lot, lot less pit windows and um, you know, making sure that you keep your track position. You have some momentum heading into this race with a top five finish and a top 10 finish in your last couple of races and that success coming from good pit strategy. How do you guys now get some more speed into the cars? That's what we've been working on. We struggled today in practice and uh, I had to go to a backup car, but um, you know, that's, that's, that's what we bring a backup car for. So we'll see how we adapt to that and um, see how we qualify and go from there. Being new with Roush Fenway this year, you've been adjusting to a new team as well as to the new rules package that was implemented this year. What have been the challenges to adjusting to both of those different factors? Just adjusting to everything. I mean, I think there's guys that have the most experience. Look at Jimmy Johnson. He spins it all by himself in Kentucky. You know, it's it's um, it's a challenge to race the way we're racing. Um, the guys that have been the best um, don't always show that. So it uh, just shows you how challenging it really is. And how do you like being at Roche Fenway? We were just talking with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and he had a lot of great things to say about you, saying that you've been able to help him a lot. Have you gotten the same in return from the rest of the team here? I think if you pay attention, you always learn. So I've definitely learned some things from Ricky. And you, know, you don't always learn what to do. You sometimes learn what not to do. And I'm sure that's the same for him, for me. So, um, you know, it's, um, it's been a good relationship. We just got to keep working, progressing and making our race cars faster. And then we look better as drivers. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you.